interesting story. Hinchen goes to the supermarket and he chooses a shirt from the rack. The original price of the shirt is 85 ringgit Malaysia. And what a good deal! It is 45% reduction. Means it is 45% discount. You have 45% discount lesser than the original price. Then he goes to the counter and check with the scanner. Did it? The price that came out to be 57 ringgit 80 cent. So my question to you is is Kinchen paying more or is Kinchen paying less than the discounted price? I know original price of the shirt after minus the discount so that I can know how much I should pay. Make sense? So the original price here is 85. So let's put in 85 for Ringgit Malaysia. And the discount price, I do not know. And how much I should pay is 57.8. So let's find out how much is a discount first. 55% discount. So I can know that the price discount is equals to, oh, 45%. 45% means per 100. Reduction comparing to the original price. Okay, you can put down original price. 45% of 85 ringgit is how much? From the calculator, 38 ringgit point two five thirty eight ringgit twenty five cent. So if I put number in here, what will I get? How much money do I need to pay for the six ringgit seventy five cent? This is how you calculate. But when it comes to the counter, they ask you to pay fifty seven point eight. Does it make sense? They can say no, the price he has to pay is 46 ringgit 75 cents. So this is much more expensive. That means the discount that they give is lesser than 45%. Lashi 三房四人我要付然后你的水费电费没缴房间的时候 
，在我还没有入住前必须要先给的租金 （rental rate）。再加 deposit， 你的定钱。Aaron 多少钱呢 ？Aaron 要付的钱是 rental rate。哦，四百五十令吉，再加 deposit 是一个月，它的租金，所以也是四百五十，所以它必须要付九百令吉。Ben 呢 ？Ben 要付多少钱呢？一样，是我的租金再加定金，租金五百五十加定金，哎，定金不同哦，定金这也是两个月的租金，所以是五百五十。嗯，两个月的租金是多少呢？五五零乘二，所以是五百五十加五五零乘二。For Ben, the deposit he has to pay is two month rent, which is five hundred and fifty, which is per month times two, and then the rental rate is five hundred fifty. So, total he has to pay is about one six five zero. So let's say my question now is, tell me, the ratio of initial payment by Aaron to Ben. So I would say, initial payment paid by Aaron to initial payment paid by Ben is nine hundred to six five zero, and then I can slash this off, ninety. Two one six five. I think you further reduce. Next, let's understand this table here. Oh, I have rental and salary. Rental means 租金，每个月我要付的租金。Salary means 薪水，每个月我工作过后收到的钱。Aaron and Ben, there are two people here. So Aaron pays for his rental every month for his house, four hundred and fifty ringgit. He has to give to someone four hundred and fifty, and salary is the money that he receives from his work. So he receives three thousand seven hundred and fifty, receives three seven five zero, and he gives out four hundred and fifty every month. For Ben, the same. Every month he works, he get five thousand, and out of this five thousand, he spends five five zero give away for the homestay. So I would like to understand. What is the percentage of monthly rental spent? Aaron has put to the monthly salary. Aaron 每个月他花出去租金的钱和他的薪金比较，八仙率是多少 ？So monthly salary is three seven five zero. So he earns three seven five zero, and then he pays off the rental. Four five zero. This is in fraction. I want to understand in percentage. So I times hundred to make it percentage. Put in the calculator and you will get the answer of percentage. How about Ben? The money that he spent on rental is five five zero. And then the monthly salary that he earns is five thousand. By having this fraction. I want to change it to percentage, so times hundred. I'll get what is the percentage. So from calculator, you'll get these two numbers. So what does these two number means? Aaron, Aaron spends twelve percent of his salary on the rental, and Ben spends eleven of his salary on the rental. So what's important for us to learn percentage? It's very important in your financial planning, 财务管理怎么看呢？比如说我收到这么多钱，这个是我的薪金一个月的钱。哦，我花了十二八千在住宿方面。那么我们就可以管理啦。哦，十二八千在住宿，我还有八十八八千，我可以用来做什么呢？衣食住行，住已经有了，衣食住。还不包括，你可以把钱帮助别人，你可以把钱拿来储蓄，你可以把钱拿来投资。所以这八千率
，我可以看到说，哦 ，Aaron 花十八千在住宿 ，Ben 花十一八千在住宿，那你呢？